guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie. Today's video is going to be all about my short hair and how I curl it and get loose curls. It's low-key a mission and a half to curl your short hair because it's like you're living on the edge every time. But I found the best tool to doing it with and it is the Hot Tools Curly Wand. This right here, it's the new black gold collection from Hot Tools. This video is actually sponsored by Hot Tools, but of course, all opinions are my own. I've actually been using Hot Tools for years now. I used to use it a lot when I did pageants back in the day because honestly, the intensity of their tools, it's amazing and super, super long lasting. My curls usually don't last a long time, but I have noticed that when I use Hot Tools, it definitely lasts a lot longer. And ever since I started using the curling wand again, I found my true love. So I definitely had to share with you guys in the black gold collection they have the blow dryer this thing it's amazing they also have the curling wand of course and a flat iron so without further ado let's jump right into the video and show you guys my tips and tricks on how i get loose curls with short hair by the way stick to the end because it's going to be a surprise giveaway i feel like a wizard doing this all right, so my hair is currently straight. I washed it last night and I passed a little bit of the blow dryer. I'm going to spray a heat spray right now, just, you know. I'm going to then take the blow dryer just to prep it and give it some heat before starting with the curling wand. That way the curls actually stick and stay. All right, so let's begin with the point of the video, which is curling the hair. I'm going to be using this curling wand. First of all, it's extremely long, so it's going to be great for long hair if you have long hair. If you have short hair, it's obviously still going to work the same. The barrel, I believe it's a two inch barrel and it goes from thick to thin which I also really like another thing is that I love the fact that this is flexible or twirly I don't know it just makes it a lot easier the heating option is also pretty great it goes from 280 all the way to 455 which is the one that I'm going to be using it at I usually always go above and beyond maybe it's not great for my hair but whatever all right so to curl my hair I usually just take a paddle brush like this one and brush my hair just in case I have any knots and then I like to split it in half that way it's a lot easier to curl it that moment you have lip gloss and it just goes all over now for this part it just takes practice and also common sense I'm just going to be curling it outside my face so it's just like a routine and doing the same thing on the other side and just curling it outside from my face. It's also more of a visual learning process, so just watch what I do and repeat the steps. Alright, so taking a small section from your hair, something like that, two inch should be the best. The smaller the section, the longer the curl is going to last and the better it's going to curl. Curling wand, hair. So I'm going to be curling it like so outside from my face. See what I mean there? I honestly feel low-key scared every time I do a curling tutorial because I feel like my hair is going to fall off like that girl. So that's the first curl. I love it. So just keep taking small sections, curling outside the face. I don't really count. I just leave it until I'm like, okay, maybe now it's where you should let it go. It's so much faster to style your hair with short hair. It honestly blew my mind away. But this is actually a pretty easy step that I've been doing for forever, even with long hair, and it would just usually take me 15 minutes. I didn't mention, but I do cup my hair a little bit before letting go. That way the curl stays longer. Alrighty, moving on to the other side, changing my hand. And again, just taking a small section, like a two inch like so and curling outside my face wow story of my life all right so that's what it looks like right after i curl it i'm just going to quickly run my fingers through it just to give it some more of a loose feel we already know the deal hairspray my favorite to apply hairspray i like to flip it and then spray so as you can see, it's pretty flat right here. I'm going to be taking the paddle brush, brushing the front section of my hair and making a little loop in my bangs, but not really because I don't have bangs. But this will help it basically get some more volume. You can pin your whole entire head if you want to, but I just usually do the front section, apply some hairspray. And then just leave it for a few minutes while I'm getting ready and that will give you some more volume on your hair. Alright, so after a few minutes, I'm just going to be taking the pins off and adding more hairspray because you can never spray enough. 
All right, so that is pretty much how I curl my hair and get loose curls on my short hair using Hot Tools Professional. Like I mentioned, this is the Black Gold Collection. I have the curling wand, the blow dryer that I really genuinely love. I feel like it's such an amazing blow dryer. It's super intense and really, really lightweight, which is what I love the most about it because it's great to travel with. And they also have a flat iron. It's super compact and great to travel with as well. I think this has to be the skinniest or flattest flat iron I own. And the settings is also pretty great as well. So I teamed up with Hot Tools to do a mini giveaway and one of you guys is going to win the Black Gold Collection. All you have to do is leave a comment down below, like the video, follow them on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and you'll be entered. Make sure to follow the rules because I'll be checking. Also, don't forget to check out the description for more information, for links, and for the end of the giveaway. So good luck. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and see you next time. Bye.